Hello, and welcome to a video on ROTA, Realms of the Ancients, a tabletop role-playing game developed by Immortal House. I'm Joseph March, though I go by Joe, and I'm one of the three co-founders of Immortal House and your host for this video. This video will focus on character creation as described in the ROTA core rulebook. We're developing two character creation videos, one that has a longer explanation and one that has a shorter. Both are a creation of different characters if you want to see two different example characters. Otherwise, the longer explanation is better for new players, and the shorter explanation is better as a reminder for veteran players. This video is the short explanation. Step one is to select the character's species, origin, and transformation, and come up with a backstory of who the character was before joining this team. In the long video, we made a human, so this time we'll pick a more interesting species, the Strider. In the long video, we also made a warrior, so this time we'll make an operative. And the previous transformation was an ancient so that we could show how magic worked in the system, so this time instead we'll do something a little simpler, make a demigod. For a backstory, we'll say this character is a defector from the Empire who's made a living hopping from ship to ship working on engineering. Step 2 is to fill in the character name, player name, and the tier of the character. This character's name is Varesen. The player's name is my own. Their tier is 1 because they're a starting character. And as we've already determined, their species is Strider, their origin is Operative, their transformation is Demigod. Step 3. Combine the stats of the character's species with those of the character's origin and write them on the character sheet. Also, place any additional points in the stats you wish if additional points are given. All Striders have one physical stat, one social stat, and two technical stats. All operatives gain plus two to social stat and two points to put where they want. This puts me with one physical, three social, two technical, and two to place where I want. I've decided to place one more in physical and one more in social, giving me two, four, two. Step four, list any ability or abilities the character gains from their species in the abilities section. If they gain any as part of their transformation, list this as well. The strider gains the ability spectral sight, and the transformation demigod allows me to pick a warrior ability even though I'm not a warrior. I'm going to choose weapon master. Step 5. Select two abilities related to the character's origin and list them in the abilities section. The operative only has two abilities to choose, so I get infiltration and stealth attack. Step 6. List the starting health and energy related to the character's origin as the character's maximum health and maximum energy. For an operative, that's 20 health and 4 energy. Step 7. Select the appropriate number of bonuses, skills, spells specific to the character's origin and list them. As an operative, I get skills. Four to be specific. Here I've chosen Stealth, Persuading, and Repair. Each skill gives you a plus two. I've selected Stealth twice, so I have four Stealth, two Persuading, and two Repair. When I roll to do any of these things, I will add these skills to a stat, giving me a much better chance of success. Step 8. Add everything listed in the Starts With section of the character's transformation to the correct places. Demigods start with plus 5 health, 1 bonus of choice from the Warrior section, and 1 of the following Warrior abilities, Armor Master, Unarmored Master, Unarmed Master, or Weapon Master. I already selected this ability back on the earlier step, so this means I add 5 to my health, making it 25, and I gain a bonus from the Warrior section. In this case, I'm going to choose plus 2 Rifles. Step 9. Copy the 8 capability increases available to the character's origin and the 2 capability increases available to the character's transformation into the advancement section, one next to each box. For being an operative, I get plus 5 health, plus 5 health, plus 1 energy, plus 1 energy, gain boost 1 skill, gain boost 1 skill, plus 1 stat, and plus 1 stat. For being a demigod, I gain plus 5 health and gain boost 1 bonus. These will be my options when advancing the character later in the game. For my own information, now's a good time to check the each tier section of my transformation. For being a demigod, if my tier goes up to tier 2 or beyond, I gain plus 1 to a stat of choice, or I get to select another warrior ability. Step 10. Purchase starting equipment including weapons, armor, and gear. The game leader will give you an amount of currency to spend. Typical starting currency is 200 UC, universal credits. Fill in the character's weapons attack section, armor section, charm section, and gear section for this. I've outfitted this character with a military rifle, hooded robe, mask, and 25 UC of gear. Step 11. 
using the values of the character's armor and charm sections along with their stats, fill in the speed, melee defense, mental defense, and range defense of the character. Here you can see my speed is 2, my melee defense is 4, my mental defense is 5, and my range defense is 4. Step 12. Review the character sheet with the game leader or a fellow player to have them validate everything looks correct. Here you can see the full character sheet. This is Varesen, the Strider Operative Demigod. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to rate and share this video if desired. Feel free to leave a comment or question, and if you like this video and want to see more, press the subscribe button. If you are interested in purchasing Realms of the Ancients or other related materials, links are in the description below. If you'd like to see more right away, check out our channel page or click on the suggestion currently on your screen. Thanks again, and remember, the adventure requires people like you. After all, the cosmos isn't going to conquer itself.